Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump Putin Nibiru Alliance erodes. On Saturday, President Donald J. Trump fielded a flurry of telephone calls from foreign leaders amidst rising tensions over his controversial policies. They spoke about his disregard for NATO and the executive order banning people born in certain countries, including green card holders or not. Of the 24 calls he made, none was more important than the Nibiru call, an hour-long encrypted conversation between Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Our Washington source, speaking to us under deep cover, gave alarming details surrounding the conversation between the world's two most powerful men. Trump formally asked Putin to surrender the telescope. As reported previously, Trump is seeking to confirm a United States Special Operations Command report that the Nibiru system has just stopped stalled behind the dark side of the sun. Evidence for that had been found, along with the fossilized remains of famed Russian astronomer Professor Dr. Mikhail Nikolaevich Tukhakevsky, at an abandoned Nibiru monitoring outpost on Komolev Atoll a Russian-controlled province in the Aleutian Islands. United States military personnel had seized the report. However, lacking a metric socket set, had been unable to unbolt the telescope from its concrete base. Now, our source says, President Trump is desperate to recover the telescope and its data, which provide the only available proof substantiating Professor Dr. Tukhakevsky's SNT. The Telescope the conversation between Trump and Putin started friendly enough, said our White House source. These two men see each other as comrades in arms. They first discussed Syria. However, when Trump started up about the telescope, Putin hemmed and hawed he would have, have been glad to bring Trump not just the telescope, but even the entire 50-ton KO personally, during an unscheduled trip to Washington early next month. Except for a minor problem the KO was empty, the telescope was gone. Trump, apparently, flew into a fit of rage, in many ways, Trump sees the telescope as a last chance to salvage an already failing presidency. At one point, Trump lost it and blurted out at Putin you're fired. Dr. Max Jacobson quickly administered benzodiazepine to calm him down, as Putin explained that every track was being pursued to find the telescope. Our source explained. Poroshenko did it. Evidence now points to Ukrainian involvement, intelligence obtained via the fifth floor FSB in Kiev directly implicates Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko, in a last minute attempt to sabotage the Trump Putin Entente Cordial. Apparently, data Ukrainian Marines, with the support of dissident Turkish naval officers, had been sent to seize the telescope before either Trump or Putin got their hands on it. President Poroshenko had decided to take his country close to a Bering Sea war, just to blackmail President Trump into financing and training 12 Ukrainian divisions, for his planned crow. If Trump agrees, the Putin-Trump entente collapses, plunging the United States into a possibly hot war. Otherwise, crow dies, but Trump may never see the telescope, and is unlikely to reveal Nibiru to the world. The dialogue from the Trump-Putin phone call suggests that Trump has yet to hear from the Ukraine. However, it is possible that Poroshenko, familiar with the Trump-Putin friendship, will have instead reached out to more reasonable, level-headed factions of the Washington regime, such as Defense Secretary James Mad Dog Mattis. Regardless, these developments are another hitch to lame Nibiru disclosure, an event millions have anticipated for over 30 years. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.